Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. I'm Scudabuyo playing Vanilla Minecraft 1.9.4 PC Edition and uh, in this video I'm going to be talking about mob sorting. Um, specifically I'm going to be talking about uh, sorting witches from other too high mobs. Uh, now, uh, here we can see that zombies and skeletons uh, look about the same height, uh, creepers are shorter, and witches look considerably taller. Uh, but if I turn on hitboxes, um, we can see that um, zombies are actually slightly uh, shorter than skeletons. Skeletons were made a bit taller in uh, 1.9. Skeletons are almost now uh, two blocks high. Um, creepers are still considerably shorter, uh, but witches um, don't actually include the hat part. <laughs> In fact, uh, witches are exactly the same size as zombies. Uh, and that, um, that makes sorting witches uh, from zombies in particular a little bit difficult. Uh, now, uh, Il Mango recently showed a, uh, a mob sorter that uses translocating pistons uh, that works really, really fast. It's, <laughs> it's super nice, uh, but it still can't handle the separation of zombies and witches, and, and that's, because, um, uh, that's because they are exactly the same height. Uh, now, uh, it turns out that um, when you put these mobs in a minecart, <laughs> their heights change uh, pretty dramatically. Uh, we see that um, zombies and skeletons uh, are sitting down, they look pretty short. Um, creepers are actually standing up, um, but uh, since creepers are already pretty short, um, they're still pretty short in a minecart. Uh, witches, on the other hand, aren't sitting down in the minecart. They, they don't seem to have a sitting model, and, and as a consequence, uh, they are considerably taller than the other mobs, uh, which means now we have a height difference between zombies and witches. Uh, and now let's uh, go, just go down here and check. Um, we can see that zombies sitting down in the minecart, and we can see the minecart hitbox actually rides on top of the rails, uh, but the zombies hitbox actually goes down to the block uh, that is underneath the rails. Uh, same thing for the skeleton. Skeletons have a sitting model. Uh, creepers now, creepers do not have a sitting model. Uh, they're standing up in the minecart. The minecart is on top of the rails and the creeper is not standing on the ground. Instead, um, it's raised up uh, just that one sixteenth of a block, uh, the same height as the, uh, the same uh, height as the minecart. Uh, and for the same, and witches are the same thing. They don't have a sitting model, so they're standing, which means that they're standing at the same height as the minecart. Uh, now, that's important because it means that when witches are in a minecart, uh, because witches are, are already so tall, they are actually more than two blocks high. So, so the top of the witch is actually um, just poking into the third block that would be above that sea lantern back there. Uh, Usually. <laughs> now, let me go ahead and, and summon a, a witch in here, uh, and we can see something kind of interesting. And now, the hitbox of the, um, of the minecart is actually all the way down on the ground, and the witch is standing on the ground as well. So here we've got the, the, the witch that was here before, and here we've got the witch that I just summoned in. And um, as a consequence, the witch on the right is actually lower. In fact, it's, it's not as high as two blocks. That's a problem, <laughs> um, uh, because if you don't know which one of these are you are going to get, it's, it's much more difficult to deal um, with, the, uh, with the expected height. Uh, now, it turns out that the witch on the right, uh, after exactly one minute, uh, will be raised up to the appropriate height. Uh, but uh, you usually don't want to wait a minute uh, after you've got a mob in a minecart. And uh, when you get a mob in a minecart by dropping a minecart on its head, you don't actually know which of these two you're going to get. You could get to the higher one, you could get the lower one, you can see it just raised up there, that's because it had been exactly one minute. Don't ask me why. Uh, now they're exactly the same height, but again, you don't want to wait that one minute uh, in order to ensure that it's at a predictable height. Um, we just want these mobs to be in a predict uh, at a predictable height, which means that getting them in the minecart by dropping the minecart on the heads uh, is probably not going to be the best solution. Uh, and that's where this comes in. This is unary bits, uh, get a mob in a minecart thingy. <laughs> this, this actually works really, really well. Um, let's uh, go ahead and summon a witch in here. Uh, and... Um, let the witch take off. 
And now you saw that uh, that light go on there, and that's because I've got a pressure plate over here on a fence post. Uh, and this pressure plate is two blocks above the ground. Now the witch is tall enough in the minecart uh, when the witch is got, uh, when the witch is uh, put in the minecart this way um, in order to intersect that. And that's because uh, when the minecart is is dispensed from a dispenser, uh, it always is correctly floating above the rail. It's never on the block beneath the rail. Uh, and when it picks up a mob this way it never sinks back down onto the ground. So it's always going to be at, the, at that correct predictable height, which means that when I do summon witches in here, um, because they are predictably going to be uh, higher than two blocks when in the minecart, uh, they will intersect that pressure plate every single time and set off that light every time. Uh, zombies, on the other hand, because their model is, uh, um, is sitting in a minecart, they're much lower, they're not going to set it off. Uh, and that is good news <laughs> because that means we now have a redstone signal that can differentiate between a witch and a zombie or a other two high mobs. Skeletons, uh, creepers uh, also will not set off the light. Uh, and um, once we have a redstone signal that can be differentiate between witches and other two high mobs, we can do all sorts of fun stuff <laughs> like this little contraption here. Um, this guy will sort uh, um, uh, witches from all, uh, from other two high mobs. Uh, witches are going to go off to the right there, and uh, the zombies are all going to go off to the left. Uh, this actually works really, really well. Um, if uh, you wanted to invert this, you wanted witches go, to go off to the left and zombies to go off to the right, um, you just need to invert the signal here with a redstone torch, and uh, the switch here can handle the one tick delay. Uh, so um, that is how you sort witches from uh, other two high mobs. <laughs> That's all I have for this video. Um, I will keep, uh, I will put a link to uh, world download in the description. So if you want to check out exactly how I built this, uh, of course, um, uh, this is a little bit slow. Um, this is on a, uh, when mobs are in there, I've got a clock dispensing minecarts uh, with a 0.7 second delay, so the seven redstone ticks. Um, so you'd probably want this at the end of a sorting system um, uh, when you have the fewest mobs to sort. Um, just, uh, just FYI. I'm sure there are faster models, but um, if you want to check out this one, uh, I will include a world download in the description. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and if you have any questions or suggestions, please leave a note in the comments.